In the last video, we looked at the two major types of carburetors and their differences. In this video, we're going to look at the throttle openings and what adjustments are in play at each one of those openings. This is what a carburetor looks like when the engine is idling. In this case, the butterfly valve and the slide are closed and the mixture is only going through the pilot circuit to keep the engine running. Let's take a look at what adjustments are in play here. The pilot jet, the pilot air jet, which is usually not adjustable in most carburetors. The pilot air jet is just a term for the passage that the small amount of air to mix with the fuel enters. And the mixture screw. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the problems that happen with this, because that's what you're really here for. Okay, the most common problem in the idle circuit is a blockage of either of these two passages. I know I sound like a broken record, but clean fuel entering these passages, specifically the pilot jet or the pilot jet passage, is one of the number one problems with this adjustment or poor idle quality. The air jet or air passage can get blocked if you have a dirty air filter, but it's by far usually a fuel problem. The correction to this problem is very simple. Clean the passages, make sure they're free of dirt and debris, and use clean, fresh fuel. But now you're going to say, I've done all that and I still have idle problems. Well, I have a whole video about that. You can click the card up top or the link in the description that goes into more detail. But it can be as simple as twisting the mixture screw. Now, identifying it is important, and I've already gone over that. So, either you have a fuel screw or an air screw. Each controls one side of the mixture. And I think it's pretty obvious. But, see my video all about it. Now let's look at slow speed operation. Air entering the carburetor also enters the air jet, which sucks fuel up through the pilot jet. And as the slide is opening, a little bit of fuel begins to come out the main jet, but it's metered by the jet needle. So what adjustments can we make at slow speed? Well, we can adjust the size of the pilot jet by changing it out. And now the mixture screw has no effect on the actual mixture through the pilot circuit because the pilot jet is flowing full fuel through its orifice. We can also change the clip position on the jet needle. This controls how far in or out of the main jet the needle is relative to where the slide is traveling up and down in the bore. Lower the needle, the leaner it will be at this setting. Higher the needle, and the richer the mixture will be at this throttle opening. Now at medium speed, or about half throttle or half to three quarter throttle, the same adjustments are in play. It's just that now that the slide is higher up in the bore, so is the needle, and it's opening that main jet more and more, and that has a larger effect on the mixture, the main jet size. While the pilot jet is flowing at full fuel, it is contributing less and less as the throttle opens. Now at full throttle, it's much the same, except for now the slide is clear up all the way into the bore, and the main jet is fully open. Now the jet needle is not doing anything to control the fuel through the main jet. So the main jet is flowing at maximum capacity at full throttle. So the only real adjustments you have at full throttle or high speed is that main jet. 
Now that we've gone over all the basics of all the different throttle openings, and you got to remember this is progressive as it opens and closes, now we can go over some of the symptoms associated with jetting problems and how to correct them. Starting with the idle, if the idle is erratic and you have to keep twisting the throttle to keep the bike running, or it runs better with the choke or enrichment circuit engaged, which there will be a video separate all about that, that means that you're too lean for some reason. So try richening up the mixture. If the idle kind of is logy or there's kind of black smoke or sooty exhaust at idle, that means you're too rich. So try and lean out the mixture at idle. The same thing goes with all the other throttle openings. If the bike seems sluggish or jerky and stuttering, that is usually a sign of the mixture being too lean. Also, if the engine tends to want to overheat or lose power as it warms up, can be a symptom of a overly lean mixture. Try larger jets or changing that jet needle clip position and find that nice happy medium. On the flip side, if the engine runs pretty good but there's excessive black smoke or it kind of bogs or is very logy but you're not experiencing overheating or it isn't coughing or stuttering, that is sometimes a indication of an overly rich mixture. Also sometimes the spark plug will be very sooty in these conditions. Remember, at the end of the day, the whole goal is to try to get the mixture to that nice 14 or 15 to 1 mix ratio, which is what is about optimal for most engines. And if you want to learn more about that, I have a video detailing all about how uh, stoichiometry works and how to try and achieve it with carburetors. Click the link in the description or the card up top. Well, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and I'll catch you in the next video and go back and watch my other carburetor videos. I think you'll learn a lot.